Aloha, I'm Jack Dugan, and this is Hawaii Tourism Now, where we talk with various business leaders and government officials here in Hawaii to learn their insights and ideas about Hawaii's tourism industry. Today we have CEO of Hawaiian Airlines, Mr. Peter Ingram. Peter is going to walk us through some of his thoughts and ideas about what he sees today and what he projects for the future in our tourism industry here in Hawaii. Do you expect there'll be social distancing guidelines airlines must follow in the future? For example, you know, maybe not passengers sitting in every seat anymore. I've heard different things. I'm sure you have too. What, what do you see uh, to the best of your knowledge uh, moving forward in that regard? I, I think you're going to see some of that in the, uh, in the short term. Um, we, we are, you know, right now making adjustments or have been for several weeks making adjustments uh, at the gate. And certainly we've got very low traffic on our airplanes right now. So it is easy to, to relatively easy to move people around at the last minute. I think um, for the next little while, we're probably going to be leaving uh, some seats on the airplane that, that are not assigned in advance so that, that there is a little bit of space in there. Um, one, one of the challenges for thinking about that for the long term is um, that it, it really doesn't, uh, doesn't work with the economic model of our business. So, you know, we're typically running on long haul flights, 90% of our seats full and our overall profit margin last year and what was uh, a very good year and certainly a much better year than this one we made about a 10 percent margin um, so yeah, that means you you need to fill about 80 percent of the seats on the airplane just to break even and uh, if you were going to block middle seats for the long term and only two-thirds of the seats on the airplane are available um, that's a model where you'd have to charge a lot more money for every ticket. And that's a model where there's going to be less demand and we're going to see um, fewer people traveling. Uh, if we had to do that, uh, I guess we'd have to adjust, but I'm not sure everyone's going to like those adjustments because it, it, it would mean that um, prices are higher and fewer people have access to travel. 